Good morning, guys. I'm off to Canada this morning. Oh, I'm so excited. Canada! Woohoo! Canada! I can't be too loud because it's only 5 o'clock and I have to leave you soon. The airport opens at 5 30. It's literally just across the road. I'm staying at the ridges at the airport. So. So yeah, super duper excited, as you can tell. So my outfit, I've just got my beauty hoodie on and just some and my cream pants and my joggers. And I'm going to Canada. So yeah, so Sydney to Vancouver, I'm in on Air Canada. I haven't flown Air Canada yet, so but I'm excited because um, I love trying new airlines and this definitely is a new one for me so so yeah oh, oh. I'm excited as you can have to tell so the international airport so there's security, it's no bad job security, awesome Air Canada, backdrop, easy process, awesome. Now I'm just at my gate waiting for my flight to take off. I'm waiting for the shops to open too so I can get a coffee, some brekkie, go for a little gander around the duty free shops. Quick update. I only have an hour left till I board. And I can see the Air Canada plane in front of me. I'm so happy and excited, but I'm so scared. I'm doing this by myself. Oh, you know, you're keeping this video journal just helps me, I guess, look back and feel these feelings again. Um, you know, excitement, anxiety. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit scared of travelling by myself, you know, as a female. called the sky train or something like that and got to the city got lost walked around for a couple hours with my luggage it was awful but it was really cool too like going on this sky rail or whatever it's called it was such an adventure I got to see the mountains with the snow on the top it was just incredible um, I've been in these clothes for goodness knows how long so I'm gonna get changed I might even have a quick shower go back downtown and I'll bring you guys along this time I didn't take you obviously just then um, because I was sorting out my phone so I went and got a sim card got that sorted just so I got a bit of data with Google Maps and stuff um, I met three really 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 friendly people it's true what they say about Canadians I reckon um, so what happened was I made it to the hotel after getting lost for about I guess two or three hours but I had Tim Hortons twice in those two hours I found two different Tim Hortons really close by 
done that, came to the hotel, the lady, the young girl, I think her name's Tiana, she gave me a map, pointed out where I have to go to get my SIM card. I still couldn't really understand the map properly. Um, the streets here are a lot different to Australia and America. Um, and a friendly guy on the one corner said, are you lost? Can I help you? And he walked me literally straight into the place where they sell the SIM cards. And then when I went into the shop and got the SIM card, the young guy there was so helpful. And not only that, is he actually put the SIM card in and activated it. So I didn't have to do anything. I'm loving Vancouver. Um, I can't wait to come back on like a family holiday here and just explore. Anyway, I'm gonna go out to either Stanley Park or Gastown or even Granville Island, so I don't know yet. I'm gonna try and figure out what what's next on my agenda. Um, oh, at Tim Hortons, I had a, I think it's got a everything original bagel the cream cheese toasted talk about delicious um, I'm gonna go for another walk I'm just gonna freshen up and yeah steam clock oh it was pretty cool um my feet are so sore but it's still only let me check the time 2 30 p.m sunday so i don't know if i should go for another walk or just chill out but then i'm like if i'm sitting here still and wondering what i could do out there then might miss it but I did some souvenir shopping um, so the room is amazing so there's a TV quick little room tour hey and then we've got the bed don't mind all my mess nice big king bed and then that's the entry closet kettle oh there's even an umbrella I didn't even know that and then we've got ice bucket so there's a ice machine just down the couple of meters not even that literally just outside my door i have not seen one of these since america in 2018 so i will definitely be trying this out a bit later nice clean bathroom and nice big shower what are you doing here are you sliding? Yeah, lovely. I love it. So Holiday Inn, downtown Vancouver. Pretty good so far. I'm impressed. Very impressed. There's my Diet Coke I got earlier. So yeah, I'll get some ice and have a cup of that. And yeah, that's that's the room I'm about. To... Something really, really funny. While I was downtown. An IGA and I got some, I got um, some Diet Coke. Look at the Diet Coke. It's in these plastic little plastic things here. Oh, I've never seen that before, I don't think. Even in America, I don't think I've seen that before. I bought the Diet Coke and then I had to get the the bag because I just think it's hilarious that there's an IGA in downtown. Well I think that's it for the day guys. Um, I'm probably just gonna lay in bed, watch some YouTube or some TV. Um, thanks for watching and um, yeah like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.